Good morning. My name is Jensen Amomi Sarah, a student of University of Lagos, year three, studying early childhood education. Yes, is there anyone on earth that is totally free from sickness? Of course not. There is no one. Have you ever imagined that we visit the hospital and you see children die? Why? Well, that is why I am on the streets today to get parents interviewed to know why children die. Okay, so now join me on the street as I ask them these questions. Thank you. All right, with me is Mrs. Blessing. Yes, great to have you on, on the street here, ma'am. Yes, uh, we are carrying out a research work on children. I would like to hear your view on uh, breastfeeding. How many children do you have, ma'am? Three children. Wow, interesting. So tell me, how long did you breastfeed them? I breastfeed after six months for exclusive. Then I breastfeed them from that time to a year and one month. Wow, you heard that? Mm, six months exclusive. Okay, Ma, what is the importance of breastfeeding? Do you think breastfeeding is important? Yes, because I'm mostly that exclusive. When I do that exclusive for them, if they want to come, realize this, some people say the child wants to bring out it, they will be stooling, vomiting. I don't used to see such thing. Or what I would just see the sign on their mouth before you know the teeth will come out wow interesting i am learning from you <laughs> all right thank you so much ma'am eh, some working class mothers they just breastfeed their children for three months and they leave them um in, at school what do you think what advice what advice can you give such mother do you think it it's um important to do that it's not important but it's not their fault they have to put food on their table and if they don't have anybody taking care of the child that will lead them to take, take the child to daycare but if they have somebody taking care of the child or if they are not working assuming it's maybe they are doing business of their own it will be good for them but in every mother assuming that if not the situation of the country at least every mother is supposed to be at home take care of the children but it's because of the country so if you don't work, you cannot leave everything for the money low. Hmm, thank you. So what side effect does that have on the child when the child is not well breastfeeded? You normally make them to sick. Hmm. Normally make them to sick because they will play. After playing, they will just put their hand in their mouth. Those they are not it's not only them that taking care of now. So you cannot look after just one child. Before they will take care of this one, take care of this one. So, assuming the country is alright, women are not supposed to work. Women are supposed to be at home, taking care of the children. That is what women are supposed to do, but you can't blame them. Wow, interesting. And breastfeeding, does it make the mother to feel weak? No. Okay. When you eat very properly, you cannot feel weak. What are the safety tips you can give your children? Um, it's about um, your environment has to be clean. You have to you have to boil your your water you are, you are drinking, and you have to you have to intensify your house where you are you are sleeping. You understand? Because nowadays people are so um, they, they have, uh, I don't I don't care believe. Understand? They don't care about what they are doing. Their children are so living in a dirty place. And in 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 Africa, most children are dying of disease. Understand? Because you have to have the conscience of, of cleanliness first. Because I know that if I move my child come far from school or anywhere, I say he should wash his or her hand. You understand? Before you do anything. Because the is in the year. You need to clean, you have to clean yourself. You have to bath every day, three times a day. But they shouldn't have to have this thing in their mindset. That they have to be clean. You understand? From what they are seeing from their parents, it's what they are, they are, they are, always, they are always doing. You understand? It's, it's about the mindset thank you so much sir yes and uh, when your child or a child falls sick what do you do first the first thing i do say is first aid in our family first aid 
when I cannot cope with it, then I take it to the hospital. Because I know that I have to boil the water, I have to give him a minor understanding of medical that I know. You understand? Then the, let's go to the doctor to manage. Thank you so much, sir. And do you adhere to doctor's prescription or you do self medication? I think this child, hmm, it's malaria. Okay, let me buy the child this drug. Do you do that, sir? No, I don't do that. Understand? If a child is getting hot, you know, somehow you know that something's wrong with this child. Yeah, before you get to the doctor, you need to attend to to the child first. Understand? To make sure that the temperature calm and before you move. I don't do self medication. I just do a little what I know that I need to calm the baby or the child down. And the next is to to move to the to the hospital or to attend to, to the child. Wow, interesting. Um, some people believe that you know when a child is sick, um, it's not usually easy on the part of the mother. It's sleepless nights. Some people believe just leave the mother to do it. When your child falls sick, sir, do you leave your wife alone to treat the child and you sleep, or what do you do to support her? No, we, we take care of the child together. I can't leave the woman to do it alone. The child, are, we are both, um, we, are, we give back to the child together. We take the responsibility of everything together. Do you think breastfeeding is important? Yes, of course. Okay. I encourage breastfeeding because I do breastfeed my children and I, I know the impact in breastfeeding. I also encourage people to breastfeed. I have one something that happened when I had the fourth baby at a uh, Jollard Hospital and then I breastfeed my daughter a year and three months mm. and when she went to school at the tender age she fell down and caught her her eyes lead couple because I have already given her the immunization I was afraid because the eyes closed and if they gave her the first treatment first aid treatment at the school and then when they told me i took her to jollard and then they asked me to bring the chart and when i brought it when they saw the chart that she had been immunized they now just gave me the advice that I should not bait the girl for four days no drugs just clean up the face wipe the face and oil that she has oily skin that was the reason why the the, the this thing is very very large so i took the advice the first day the second day the eyes open of its own you know without no drugs and that, that one have made, made me to come up to know that breastfeeding is good and also immunization works for the children and they are very very healthy I don't take I don't give my children a book. Even I have a grandchild as I'm talking to you that's seven years. When they had that boy, I say no water until six months. That my my daughter have the first child. She has gone to school. If you see him now, he's very healthy and plump. Seven years he looked like ten years child or nine years plus. Yes. When you when time when you see him out, people will say, Ah, delight, cat. What is happening? But the secret is the breastfeeding and management. Whenever he has any problem, I will go for the children, this doctor that we prescribe. Don't give him anything anyhow. So it is very, very good. But for those people that are working class uh, uh, ladies, I advise them when they want to go to work, they should seek a nanny. Let them Extract out the 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 distance, their milk and fridge it. They will keep. My sister did it and it worked. My sister had a problem when she got bad, and then as she had the problem, because by she used to have her a distance, and that problem was so much that she was losing her senses. She was taken to the hospital. I went. I left here. I went. Her place and stay for four good months because of that baby. And every every day we go to the hospital to take her breast uh, milk. And when the child drinks, I take the remaining one and come and put inside the fridge. 
the, 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 the by the time the space of the time then the child will be taking it and as we want it and she will be taking it you will not know that that the mother has any problem at all at all and that baby is very very healthy so i advise the, the uh, women to breastfeed their child so that one they will not have the addition of uh, washing uh, some people doesn't know how to wash their um, feeding bottle very very well and then another one the chance will not be able the germs will not be able to penetrate from the, the infant you know as a baby there are some things that the child will be facing it will be just carelessness that brought if you have if you want to clean your breast when you are pregnant just gradually you sponge clean your board your your nipple clean it very very well hmm. every morning every morning as soon as you give birth the breast will come out clean it put if you can put only for you on the nipple of your decision if you don't have money you can put vaseline and make great the passage whereby the breastfeeding will be able to come out at the right time so some people will say no i will use milk i will do this it is not good there is a lot of disease here and there and you know breastfeeding is just a nice thing for us from god and that's the reason why god made that thing to be so the gland will produce as 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 much as you want when you keep it flowing but when you block it there will be a problem and we look at me nobody for this world go say never sick oh that's it eh? but what thing they do when your children when they when they sick eh, if my children is sick i will force for that first day i will give them a uh, seven key because of me if it is measles i don't like giving my children injection for measles so after then if i did not say anything like measles i take them to the hospital just a day that's it thank you ma because some people they, they do um i go treat my became myself for no me i don't do that just for that one day after that, that first day the second day i will take them to the hospital mm, i'm happy to hear that wow people a lot of people need to learn from you yes ma and hey, another thing we say Hey, as you they walk so now walk you with uh, take home meet you right how you they manage your home and your work how you they manage them together home management uh, we do a, a good <laughs> we do everything together in the morning you have to take care of your house after then then you come to the shop thank you very much ma then during pregnancy you they go clinic Ah, why not? Why won't I go to clinic? <laughs> Am I the one that will give birth to myself? <laughs> so thank you. The immunization, they say they're important. It's very important. I give it to all my children and I don't miss one. Wow, imagine. Oh, me, I never marry you. Take certificate for it for all my children. Wow. Me, I never marry you, but you don't they give me courage now, if say. You have to add, if, you, if you want to waste it, because that immunization is very nice for children. So that the parents will not have any problem after. So your children, they give them vaccine, a B B C G. Yeah, B C G. This uh, D P C. I give them everything. So if you when you give them, what thing when they give them, what thing in they do for picking body? Ah, uh, like uh, like polio now. It prevent polio. It prevent measles. It prevent yellow fever. So many sickness. Thank you so much, Mommy T and K. I ran letter to you today. Say I they come here. No, 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 no. no. Uh -huh. But you, you, you gave me your time, eh? And I appreciate that. That's it. All right. So you don't hear so from Amiti and K. Say breastfeeding they important. Everybody knows say picking. You see as they do their man when they they suck. Abi. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they like food well, well, eh? So it did good, eh? So thank you very much, Amiti and K. Eh?